If you've noticed an abnormally large amount of people walking around town this past week just staring at their phones, no, it's not the zombie apocalypse, it's Pokemon Go. And despite some of the negative things you may have heard about the new game, there are a few positives. At first, I was kind of skeptical about the game, made fun of it for the first 24 hours of its release. Uh, watched buddies of mine walk around the streets. Thought it was silly, gave in, downloaded it. About two hours in, I realized I was walking about a mile every 30 minutes or so. Uh, it, it's just got me up, it's got me moving. Before I had this game, I stayed inside and played around on the DS version a lot. But now that this game came out, uh, I've been playing on that more than anything. I've walked 2.1 kilometers so far, and I've only had this game for about a week. It's one of the areas that he's got a strong interest in, so we have been able to bond over that and spend more time together doing things that he enjoys. And it's gotten us out of the house, and we've rode bikes up and down Main Street and walked all over the back streets, and it's been really good for both of us. Obviously, those who play the game may be a little biased, but even the fitness community are supporters of Pokemon Go. I don't know if it, this app was intended for people to exercise, but it just makes me so happy to see that people are off the couch. People are moving and they're out socializing in our little town, which means um, a lot. Of all ages, actually, too. I mean, you see grown to young kids. So the next time you see someone in your yard at an odd hour just staring at their phone, they're probably not there to steal anything, except Pikachu. Reporting from Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.